So today we're using the anechoic chamber to test to measure loudspeakers so that students can understand the design characteristics and how those design characteristics relate to the performance of the loudspeaker, allowing them to pick the best loudspeaker for a live sound environment or a recording studio environment or whatever is required. So they're sending various different sweeps and noise-based signals through a variety of loudspeakers and using some test microphones and test equipment uh, to establish the, the audio performance of those loudspeakers. Essentially, it removes the room from the test measurements that we're doing. Um, so you would uh, put a loudspeaker in there and perform your measurement and it, it removes the room from the experiment so you get a valid result. We also occasionally use it for uh, psychoacoustic testing uh, on human beings, so running experiments uh, in terms of people's perception of sound in the absence of, of any reverb. The practical sessions have given us greater insight into how things are working and learning from an experienced tutor has definitely helped put things into practice. The whole building can be used for a variety of purposes. We can have live reverbs from a control room in a recording studio. We can get very dry recordings from the anechoic chamber and we can explore the full technical and creative applications of these spaces. The recording studios, anechoic chamber, um, dubbing rooms, theatres, they are all industry standard. So the spaces are all 10 out of 10 and a really good experience to learn.